Hey folks, welcome back. So in the last session, we got the access token back from the Workday REST API. So the call we made was the GMS token with the body with the grant type was the refresh token and the refresh token had the refresh token value. In the authorization, we provided the client ID and the client secret. And once you make this call, you get the access token back with the uh, token type is bearer. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we can call Workday and get the information we want to have back because all we have done so far is get the authentication going. So we got the token back. Now we need to make a couple of calls. First call that I would like to show you is how to get the workers. Mind it, this call is a post call. The next call we want to do is the get call, the get workers. One thing to keep in mind is that when you are doing these calls, like a get worker, or you want to post or create some custom object, which I'm going to show you uh, creating a custom object, um, these calls are different calls. One of them is a get, the other one is a put so or a post. So these calls, to be able to make these calls, your user, the Workday user that you are using, when you configured your um, REST API client, that user should be accessing the right set of uh, domains. So your security groups should be in having the right access. So once you have figured that out, what you need to do is you need to go back in here in your collection and create a new request. So I'm going to create a new request. Let's call it as get workers. You can call it anything you like, but I'm going to call it as a get worker request. And I have the get worker request now. So once I have the get worker request, as you can see, it's a blank request, right? Now, what I need to do is I need the URL. So if you remember, we had these URLs in place. So this was, uh, this is my REST API endpoint. Previously, what I used was the token endpoint to get the token. Now I need to use the REST API endpoint so that I can make these web service calls, okay? So I'm gonna take this URL, that's my host. And I need the resource. My resource is workers. So I'm doing a get workers call. Now this call, what it needs is, it needs the authorization, which I'm going to set in the header. So my authorization is, so it's the authorization header. And the value is, it's a bearer token, right? And the token I have from a post call. So I can take this token, bearer space token, and the other header I need is I need content type and the content type in this case is application JSON. Okay, so we have the get call. The, mind it, the URL you are using is a different URL. This is the API endpoint URL. This is not the token URL. Okay, so once you have that, you provide the authorization with bearer and the bearer access token and the content type of application JSON. Once you have that going, hit send, and you get your data back, okay? That's pretty cool. So all you got back is, so this is very similar, or is exactly same, uh, like you made the call through the Workday's portal uh, into the developer sandbox. So you got the exact same call working in Postman. So at this point, you're good to go and make any get or post call through Workday REST API. So all we'd have is, this is Workday's REST API URL with forward slash workers, which is our resource because we're getting the worker data back. You have the authorization header set with bearer because this is a bearer token, space, the actual token, the content type is application JSON, and you get your data back, okay? Fairly simple. You could do a couple of more things like your your tokens keep changing. So you could actually use Postman has a variety of tools where you could make this token value right here as a variable. And that would allow you to, to change it dynamically. So every time you do this, you just hit the post, uh, do the access token. And once you have the access token, the get workers will get the latest and greatest token and you get it from there. So it's kind of a cool way to test your things out. That's all I wanted to show you in this session. So let's meet in the next session where I will show you how do you create a custom object using the Workday REST API. Thank you for listening.